Here is a short brief highlighting how insights for ArcGIS can be used for intelligence analysis. To begin, I will add my global terrorism database, sourced from the University of Maryland's, to my workbook. What we can see is a very dense map of just over 85,000 terrorist related incidents. Due to the density of the points, it is hard to derive a common theme in the data. So let's use insights to interpret our data. Insights automatically computes the data types, including location, fields for charting, fields for summary analysis, and the time-based field has been automatically computed. Let's have a look at our data over time. We can see that the highest number of incidents took place in May 2014, with the least activity being August 2003. To understand where the most dangerous areas for terrorist activity exist, I can change the style to present persons killed and the symbol to a heat map. This highlights areas around Iraq and Afghanistan that contain the highest number of fatalities due to terrorist attack. But to further understand my data, I need to create a micro view of terrorist related fatalities. To do this, I can use ArcGIS Pro and connect it to my portal with GeoAnalytics server configured. I have access to rich feature analysis tools. In my process, I will use the Summarize Within tool. This will allow me to categorise my data globally by hexagon bins based on 100 kilometre regions, whilst calculating a sum of persons killed. It is worth noting that the same process can be run via a web map in my portal, and smaller areas such as 25 kilometre bins can be created. I can run the process leverage from the parallel processing power of GeoAnalytics server and immediately this data set is available to the Insights user. Now, as an analyst, I can see a concise global representation of the highest fatality rates caused by terrorist attacks. I can view a 100 km area around Baghdad that globally forms the most dangerous area for terrorist activity and I can form a global view to see that areas of Iraq, Afghanistan and Nigeria represent the highest risk. But we need to know how our Australian land-based deployments relate to our small area analysis. Let's add the operations layer, then filter our Australian operations by fatal terrorist attacks. Now we can see the direct danger to our troops and we can start to derive true insight from the global terrorist database. But let's go further. Back to my operations map, I can change the style to personnel and the symbology to counts by size. From here we can flip the card to see that 1,848 troops are deployed on land-based operations, with the highest operation count being 780 troops. Going back to our map, we can select the largest operation, being Operation Opera in Iraq, and we can rerun a secondary filter. At this point, we have now taken the dense global terrorist database to form a single view of the most dangerous area globally for current troop deployments. To conclude our analysis, let's add Operation Okra's current field assets. We can see three key troop deployments, with 480 troops deployed in the most dangerous region. To further the microanalysis, I can now re-overlay the global terrorist database but this time I will style by target type. This allows us to depict what terrorists are targeting and we can filter on military assets to see corridors where terrorists are specifically targeting our troops. 
This intelligence can be used for risk mitigation, to enable forward planning, and can be employed to make the battle space safer for our troops. In this example, our southern deployment is in a particularly dangerous area for terrorist target. Based on precedence, it would be a good idea to reroute this deployment. Let's do a summary of our analysis. Using insights, we have taken the very dense global terrorist database and been able to extract the time in which terrorist activity was most prevalent, where our land-based operations are, including the largest operation, and we've been able to determine the most dangerous area globally for our troops on the ground. And while examining this data, Insights has been capturing each step into an analysis view. This presents each stage and allows us to apply edits, add data and update records. Now it's time to brief our results. To do this, we can simply share our page and provide our analysis to the National Security Group. This ensures that sensitive information is secure and provides immediate intelligence reporting to the higher command. For more information, please see the Esri Australia homepage. Thank you.